somewhere out there. <laughs> Dog slobber all over my microphone. Me and Rachel have come away for a few days, so I thought I'd shoot out. It's early morning, about half six-ish. Thought I'd walk up onto the cliffs. Woo, check this drop out. Thought if I film a quick video before the day starts, man, uh, I'll kind of enjoy the day more. I'll feel a bit more productive. I don't know about you, but I really struggle to switch off from work. I struggle to, I struggle to take time off because I feel like I'm not getting anything done and it drives me nuts when I feel like I'm not making progress. But I've been thinking about it and I think really the most productive times are, are often when I'm not really at work. Let me explain what I mean. To work really hard at anything, I've got to be excited about it. I'm not one of those people that can just sit down at a desk and get on with work, um, like mundane, boring work. I'm just not one of those people. Tried for years, made a terribly bad employee. Um, I've got to, I've got to be driven. I've got to be excited about what I'm doing. Otherwise, it just doesn't get done. So. For me, a really, really important part of of, um, of everything that I do really is the is the planning stage of it. Is the thinking about what I want to achieve, why I'm doing something, what the outcome is, so that I can get excited about it and really like picture what it's going to be like. That drives me to take action and actually actually get stuff done. The times when I can step back away from away from the sort of hecticness of uh, of work and and plan and think about what I want. There are times that are so important because it's the time when I get to set the compass of where I want to go and really think about what I want and what's what's going to drive me, what excites me. In a way, stepping back and not doing any work is kind of the most productive thing that I can do once in a while to make sure that you know, to make sure that I get tons done in the future. I really want to get a quick drone flight in before I go back to the hotel. I'm sure Rach would want that for me. It's obviously for the best. When I started my first business, the idea of not having to work for somebody and being able to live a decent lifestyle and just have my own freedom really, really excited me. That was all the motivation I needed to go out and to work my ass off. My own freedom and the choice to work when I wanted um, and still live a decent lifestyle was my motivation. I thought if I could attain that lifestyle, that's all I need. But then as time progressed, and I did attain my lifestyle, it didn't excite me so much anymore. I needed new reasons that really excited me um, and that motivated me to keep moving forward and to keep working hard. Look how greedy Rach is.
when I was a kid, whenever I didn't want to do something, I remember my mum used to say, you need to kick your own bum and make yourself do it. And I understand where she was coming from. Sometimes when there's something you don't want to do, yeah, you've got to kick your own ass and just make yourself do it. But at least for me, when it comes to doing something on a consistent basis, I need to do more than just to kick my own ass and make myself do it because it won't last if I do that. I need some kind of motivation, inspiration behind it, something that excites me. And that, when I've got that, that's when I produce my best results on a consistent basis. At the moment, the thing that's motivated me, I feel like I've got, I've done so many things wrong in business over the last, I don't know, 15 years. And I feel like there's so many lessons that I've learned and I really, I really honestly believe that I can help a lot of business owners that are, that are in a similar situation to the one that I've been in. I feel that I can help them, you know, get their stuff out into the world, help them sell stuff. That's what makes me happiest and I think that when I'm helping other business owners, that's when I'm producing my best work. Whenever I'm struggling to make the progress that I really want, I'm going to take the time to, to step back and to, to rethink what my driver is, what my reason for actually doing the work is. Um, and make sure that I've got a good reason, make sure I've got something that's motivating me, something that's exciting me, something that I can look at on a regular basis and it just like lights me up inside and makes me, makes me go basically. Wait just a minute before you go. Two things, first of all, if you've enjoyed this, do me a favor and hit like or leave a comment or subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Second of all, I've got some free stuff for you that I think you're gonna enjoy as well. To get it, just go to the homepage of rickbwilliamson.com. There you will find whatever I'm giving away at the moment. It's likely to be some free training or a webinar or something like that. So that's it, enjoy your free stuff. Go and get your free stuff. Have a cool day, thanks for watching. See ya.